Nobody in my... Oh, <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> you can tell I'm rusty. <laughs> I've been done this for three weeks. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello, buddy, and welcome to another micro battle tutorial. Like Yay! I just said, yes, three weeks. Three weeks. I'm having serious withdrawal symptoms from redstone. It's a bit crazy. <laughs> well, today you'd be pleased to know we're back with some redstone. So what exactly are we building? Well, today we have another subscriber suggestion, and you guys have been asking for a 4x4 flush trapdoor. Of course, that's what we're building today. Now, before we take a look at the redstone, what do we actually need a 4x4 flush trapdoor for? Well, two things I thought of. One, it could be an awesome base entrance and exit. Just fly in and fly out. And secondly, it would be great for some traps. And your friend is no more. <laughs> now, I wouldn't recommend killing your friends in Minecraft because soon they just leave you and then you're on your own making redstone YouTube videos. <laughs> so yes, you can see there are many uses for a 4x4 trapdoor. Okay, enough waffling. Let's actually have a look at the build. So here is our 4x4 flash trapdoor. Now, as you can see, the redstone is very, very small, very nice and compact. And actually, it's really easy to build as well. And you might notice... It has no observers. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Let's just see it working. So we flick the lever here and it opens really nice and quickly. Whoops, pick the lever again and it closes very nice and quickly too. In fact, it closes and opens so quickly that you can actually ditch this lever and have a stone button. Of course, you need to invert the pulse. Just one second. Let's just invert the pulse by having a torch, then a button. That would be perfect for traps. You can see someone's walking along and you just press the button and they fall down. And there we are. Okay, so now you've seen the build and you've seen it working. Let's get on with this tutorial. So this is an amazing build. You're gonna need five regular pistons, 14 second pistons, 10 resistance readers, 23 resistance dust, five resistance torches, four resistance blocks, eight slime blocks, eight hundred blocks, 24 movable blocks, I'm gonna use obsidian, five random blocks, I'm gonna be using glass, one lever, 30 flux blocks, to go on, and heavy blocks you need for decoration. Okay, so like usual, you first need to determine where you want your build to actually be. So what I've done here is I've laid out a four by four square like this. Now, these 16 blocks here are the blocks which are actually going to be moved. So this 4x4 square is our trapdoor. So that 4x4 square is exactly the same as this one here. You can see these are the blocks which get moved. Okay, so after you have that all marked out where you want your trapdoor to actually be, what you need to do is dig out one, two, three, four blocks down, like that. <laughs> and then four blocks on the right, one, two, three, four. Four blocks from the top, one, two, three, four and four blocks from the left. One, two, three, four. And what you need to do is basically make a square all like this. Just match up the edges all along. And of course, it's even better if you can get someone else to do it. Okay, so now you should have a 12 by 12 area. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Perfect by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Brilliant. Now that you've done that, <laughs> you need to do that four more times. This hole needs to be five deep. Thank you, Robot Man. That was very helpful. <laughs> so there we are. Now we have a 12 by 12 hole, which is one, two, three, four, five deep. Perfect. Okay, so after you've done that, what you need to do is come underneath these blocks here and have four honey blocks like this. One, two, three, four. Next to those four, you need four slime blocks. Next to these four slime blocks, you need four honey. One, two, three, four. And next to these two, you need four slime like that. Okay, so after you've done that, what I want you to do is come underneath this slime block here and place a block and come out one, two, three, four, five, and remove the first four. And then have a sticky piston going toward the middle. And as you'll see, it's in line with this line block, but it's one block underneath. 
Brilliant. And then we want to carry this all along for long. So you can see they're in line with the slime and honey blocks, but they are one underneath. And then we want to do that on the other side. So place a block here and come out five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Remove the first four. And then have our four sticky pistons going like this. One, two, three, four. And remove this block. Now we want to grab any immovable block. I'm going to be using obsidian, but it doesn't matter what you use. And place it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do the same on the other side. So that's four long. And then the same underneath. And then we need to grab four decoration blocks and place them like this. One, two, three, four. Now these two in the middle have to be a full block. So you can't use glass or stairs or things like that. It has to be a full normal block. Then the same on this side. One, two, three, four. Then come inside. And what you need to do is place two sticky pistons off the side of these two pistons facing upward. Like this. One and two. And then the same on this side. One and two. So this one should be going toward the slime. This one toward the honey. This one toward the slime. And this one toward the honey. Now after that, come to the front. Place a temporary block here. And one down. Remove this one. And one next to it like this. And two repeaters, both on one tick, going toward these blocks here. Now, on the other side of these repeaters are our pistons which we've just placed. So that's why we need these to be full blocks. Then place a temporary block here and one up. And three along. One, two, three. Temporary block here and one up. And dust like this. One, two, three, four. Then place a temporary block this side. And one up. Remove this one. And then have a piston facing downward like this. Remove this block. And then have a torch here. Which should extend these pistons because these repeaters are powering this block, which is next to these pistons. Perfect. Then place a block here. Then have a regular piston facing this way, toward the right. Remove this one. Then have a block on top of this piston, and have a lever and flick it on. That piston should be extended. Then have a block of redstone. Then five random blocks. I'm going to be using glass, but you can use whatever you like, as long as it's movable, okay? <laughs> so as long as it's not obsidian. <laughs> one, two, Three, four, five, another block of redstone, then two more blocks, one, two, remove this one, a piston facing toward this redstone block, remove this block, and then lastly, block here, one down, remove, remove that one, block here, and dust on both, one and two. So now, when I flick this lever, this piston should extend, moving these back, and these pistons should retract. Perfect. And then when I extend, it should do the opposite. Brilliant. We'll leave it on for now. And next step we have to do is come over to this right hand side underneath this piston here, place a temporary block here and one down. Remove this one and then two blocks out like this. Dust on these two, which should now extend because actually that dust is connecting down here, even though you'd think that piston is blocking it, but it's not. <laughs> then we have a repeater coming away from this dust on three tick delay. So place it down and press it twice, once, twice. Then we grab a sticky piston and place it here with a block of rest on its face and dust on top of that piston, which should extend the piston. Now, we grab a regular piston and place it here. Then we want to grab an obsidian and place it in front of that piston, a torch here. On top of that uh, obsidian coming away from that torch, we need a repeater on two tick delay. Then we need to grab another torch and place it on the backside of uh, that piston. Then have another piece of obsidian or any removable block and place it on top of that torch. Then a regular block here, and coming away from that obsidian, we need another repeater on two tick delay. Whoops. So place it down and press it once. Then a temporary block here, and one in front of that repeater. Block next to this sticky piston, and dust here, which should extend that piston only. And then do something similar on this side. So we place a block here, one up, move this one, and one here. Then we have dust here, but then we place another block here to stop this dust connecting. Now we have that piston extended. Now we need to break these two pistons, and we need to now place them here. One and two, which should now extend. Okay, so now we've connected that side. Now we need to connect it to this side, but thankfully it's a lot easier than all of this bit. <laughs> so what we need to do is first you place a temporary block here and one down, and we need this line to be eight long. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be in line with these pistons here. And then dust all along them like that. 
then two blocks here and two repeaters going in toward those blocks there. But these ones need to be on three tick delay. So place them down and press them twice. Once, twice, once, twice, which should extend these pistons here because that repeater is powering that block, which that block is then powering that piston. And now for our final part, all we have to do is basically repeat that little section down there over on this side. So we place two blocks like this, have dust, and then a repeater on three tick delay going toward the front. Then we have a sticky piston here with a block of redstone. Dust on top of that sticky piston, which now should extend the piston. Then have a regular piston here facing toward that repeater. A piece of obsidian here or any immovable block. A torch on top. A redstone repeater on two tick delay going toward the back. A torch on the back side of that sticky piston, or sorry, regular piston. <laughs> then another immovable block. A block here. And a repeater on two tick delay going toward the front. Temporary block here and one up. Remove this one. Block here and dust. And then the same on this side. So temporary block here, one up. Block here and dust. Then remove these two pistons and place them here. One and two. And of course, sorry, they have to be sticky pistons, not regular ones. <laughs> and surprisingly, that's everything completely done. So when I flick this lever here, we should have our full retraction, which we do. And then flick the lever again, and we have our full extension. Of course, we can just place in movable blocks here, one, two, and one, two. Then fill this up, cover up all the redstone with our blocks. There we are. And then, of course, we can fill all this in with our grass. Uh, the rubber time man is so useful, isn't he? <laughs> so there we are. Click the lever. Very, very simple. But how do we wire up a button if we want it to open, then close? Well, basically, all you have to do is run a torch into this piston. So let's just do that quickly. Like that. So it's naturally on. And then basically, power that block. And that is literally it. <laughs> so grab some dust as well. And of course, if you want to extend the pulse, just use a comparator pulse extender like this. Now I press the button. As you see, it opens for quite a while, and then it'll close. And finally, this is a tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, so now you should have a 12 by 12 square. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How?